Hey guys, this is Jason here, and I can't really hear myself. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to edit your Minecraft videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I used to use, uh, I think it's called Cyberlink Link Power Director 12, but I changed to Adobe Premiere Pro because it's much more easier, it doesn't lag at all, and feels much more comfortable to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to edit your videos or your Minecraft videos with Adobe Premiere Pro. And yeah, so pretty much you're going to go ahead and open up your Adobe Premiere Pro. And first off, you'll be greeted with the... F uh, you won't have this, you'll be having like, a new project. So you're going to go ahead and create a new project. It should come up like that. Create a new project on your Adobe Premiere Pro. And you're going to wait for a while for it to create. After you have created, you have nothing at all. You have like no sequences. You won't have anything at all. Now you're gonna go ahead out here to the bottom right here where it says import media to start. You want to right click on it, click on new item, click on sequence. Now uh, you can name it anything you want. So for this video, I'm gonna call it Minecraft tutorial. Okay. Uh, once the sequence is created, now you'll see the timelines. Now they have they have tons of control um, tools here. So in this video, we're just gonna be using simple tools such as the zoom tool, the razor tool, and the selection tool. Basically, the razor tool is just to cut videos out from each other, like split them into parts and stuff like that. Now, yep. Now you're gonna import your video. Now I'm just not gonna only import my video. I'm gonna import my outros videos background music and stuff so first of all you want to import your audio and your video so if you edit your audio by I uh, use the extort to record now um, something like that you can edit your extract your audio and edited now that's why I have one audio here and a video so basically first off you're gonna import your audio or your video if you don't have audio you can just uh, don't do like what I do so basically you can drag in your clip to the video here there will be three slots ready to drag in um, uh, you want to click on change sequence settings now if the video aren't like scaled uh, you want to do is first off unlink the video and you want to go ahead and click on set to frame size if it's like really small and stuff like that make sure you set it to frame size and this my this is a twelve eighty by seven twenty video, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be exporting my videos like nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So yeah, so if you want to uh if you like edit your audio like this, have mine edited already in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using I'm not Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using Adobe Audition to record my voice right now. Um, basically, you want to go ahead and link the video by right click on it, click on link, and then you want to delete the audio, drag in your new. Or your edited audio here this is just for example I'm just gonna go down here because the video I won't make it pretty long um, I'm gonna make it pretty long so if you want to split the audios I mean the videos to parts or cut out the video you want to go ahead and select the razor tool and click on that and you guys can see it's split it into parts and um, yeah so this is the video here and uh, this is our video. Now, if you guys want to import your uh, intro and outro, so go ahead and find those. I left it into my documents. Our intro and outro. Open that up, and then just drag two of these in here. Now, pretty much, um, some of you guys' intros might have like a pretty loud sound. You can change the audio. So, first of all, you're gonna go ahead and select the audio. And, uh, but first off, you want to unlink everything the first time. Select the audio, go to effect, controls, volume, and make sure you unchecked level and uh, the keyframe and uh, bring it about minus uh, 30 or 20. I use 20. And just make sure the sound is hit the red port at the top there. Okay, that means that's enough. This is an intro made by the guy or die. Um, pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to connect those videos together here. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Now you want to drag in your outro, just simply drag and drop the outro there, and you're pretty much done, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, do this. Um, I'm gonna drag in. I'm gonna make like a fade in or fade out effect in my video. So you're gonna go ahead and select your video here. You're gonna go down here to where it says the first part, and after the uh, video, so after the intro, are you gonna set this here to zero okay now you won't see anything so after that you want to go ahead and go for a second bit out um for the bit um but before after all you make sure you set the opacity of your video to zero and just slide out a bit and uh change it to 100 and um pretty much you will have the fade in and fade out effect um, let me show you again. Yep, it's pretty cool now and looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, that's my SG Heroes video. This is just for example. Um, pretty cool. And if you guys still don't understand, because I don't, <laughs> I'm not good at uh, explaining video editing stuff, but pretty much it's like that. Now, if you guys want to add a text, like uh, you did something wrong, you say something wrong. Can go ahead and add your text so I think you want to go ahead and right click on it click on um where is it I can't believe I can't find it oh where is it add uh, no, 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 no. I think it's in the effects part here video effects <laughs> you can also add video transitions like 3D motions, like a cube, you simply drag it in there and look, uh, say that's pretty cool. Um, but if you guys want to add a text, you can add a text, but I don't know where you add a text because I never add a text, I just edit it with Photoshop and import the text to the video. That's what I do. And you know, add some type of blending options and stuff like that to the video. Now, um, yeah, guys, you can add transitions and stuff. That's why Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the most best video editing program for you guys. Um, so I like it, and also Adobe Edition. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, now, um, or uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And after this, we um, I'm gonna show you guys the export settings. So, to render your video or export your video, go to File, Export Media. Now you notice I can't click to Media, so you <laughs> uh, want to drag it to the end there. File, Export Media. You can't export the media because you guys have to do this. Okay, so if you have this problem. Uh, you want to simply go ahead and uh, save or you can render audio render stuff save the file okay so first off you want to save your file crop <laughs> save the project uh, and you want to go ahead and check that up pretty loud here my headphones are exploding <laughs> okay looks pretty cool Oh my god, you guys can literally hear it. See how loud it is. <laughs> okay guys, welcome to another Minecraft Survivor Zone Blah Blah Survivor Zone episode. Okay, that was um, a bit Jeff filth, okay. So, that was the video, pretty cool. Um, it's just simple editing, you use like, three only like tools here and uh, not a lot of things. So, you can either use a pen tool for your video, like uh, Go ahead and grab that. Stuff like that. I don't really know how to use a pen tool in Adobe Premiere, but I know how to use it in Photoshop. So simply export the file to media. So it's really important, you guys, to save the project before you export. Um, that's why it's important for you to do that. So go ahead and make sure you unchecked match sequence settings. Um, make sure it is. Um, Make sure it's for the start, by the way. Make sure it's format is H.264. You can use Blu ray, you can use MPEG, but M points, uh, H.264 is one of the most best settings uh, quality for now. 
uh, you're gonna go ahead and make the preset is YouTube by hitting on Y and scroll down until you find what type of preset you're using. So I'm using YouTube 1080p 20 uh, 29 frame uh, FPS. Um, you can also change your frame rate here to 30 or 60. I'm using 30 and um, you're pretty much done. Don't mess with these. Just mess with two of these options and the frame rate option. Um, you can add effects and stuff. So simply click on export and it's going to take pretty fast. It depends on your computer. If you have a slow computer, it takes a pretty long time. And it's going to encode the Minecraft video too. And um, I'll come right back and I'll show you guys the result of that. And we'll get back again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, now once your video is was rendered or encoded and stuff, you should have it, oh, sorry, you should have it onto your desktop or where you save it. Basically, how to find where's your outro or, no, I mean, where's your, not an intro, your video. You, you just go ahead and click on output name and select desktop, save it, then you're done. Here's the video. You're gonna see how much it renders out. Oh my god, that is so loud, bro. Um, Okay, skip here, skip down right, here. Guys, this episode. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about a really quick video. I'm gonna be thank you. Uh, I'm gonna be thanks. I know the video. Uh, I'm gonna be thank. Uh, it's me. pretty cool. And thank yeah, you. so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to edit your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's just a simple um editing tutorial. If you need more about this, about the FX presets audio effects and everything about that be sure to leave a comment below and i'll check and i'll reply to you so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time um it will take a really long time to render peace out people bye <laughs>